Okay, ladies, let's get real here for a minute. In two months from today, I'm going to be 49 years old, and I am right here with you when it comes to health, nutrition, and exercise. But I don't want to exercise. Well, neither do I. But you know what? I feel better. My body is functioning better than it's ever functioned, even in my earlier years. And it's, it, it helps to relieve the stress of life. Stress will cause you to put fat on in the midriff area. That's where it will be distributed. Now, let me tell you something else. You will never have Britney Spears abs by doing hundreds and hundreds of sit-ups. She's in her 20s, let it go, you're in your 40s. You're in your 50s. It's not gonna happen that way. If you wanna reduce the fat in the abdominal area, you're going to have to change your diet, not get on a mat and do hundreds of sit-ups. First and foremost, abs are made in the kitchen. You're gonna to have to let go of the fizzy drinks, let go of the sugars, let go of the processed foods, and switch, swap those out with high fiber alternatives. Even yogurt, a lot of my women are like, well, I eat yogurt and I put fruit on it. Yeah, well, fruit's good, but it's still got sugar in it. So you have to, you have to balance that out. Yogurt, check the label, even though it's, it's, it's healthy, there are healthy yogurts that are very high in sugar. Learn to know what you're putting in your body. Don't just do it because you see the real housewives of whoever and whatever doing it. You follow your body, follow your doctor's orders, follow research, not just take someone's word for it. Don't just take my word for it. Google it, go online, read. Even the Bible says to study to show yourself approved. So know this for yourself. Know what you're doing to help yourself become healthier. Stress hormone cortisol will accumulate in the midriff area. So you gotta start relieving stress. How do I go about relieving stress? Exercise, get out and walk, uh, ride a bike, jump rope, jump rope, I'm sorry, move your knees up and down. You also, it's very, very important for women our age to start lifting weights. You say, oh, but I don't wanna be big and bulky. That is one of the biggest misconceptions is if you lift weights, you're gonna be big and bulky. That's not gonna happen. You would have to do enormous weights for long periods of time to accumulate the type of muscle mass that you see others carrying around. And that would have to be your target and your goal. So lifting weights, weights is not going to make you a big, big bulky person. It's actually going to help you. And the stronger you build your core and the stronger your muscles are, the more weight training you do, the more fat you're burning off of your body. So I encourage you, don't take my word for it. Google it. Ask your doctor. Ask a healthcare professional. People that have studied and gone to school for this uh, and gotten their doctorate degrees in it, they will tell you the same thing, I'm telling you. So don't shoot for Britney Spears' abs. God bless her heart. She's gorgeous. She looks great. But it's just not going to happen for us that way. You're going to have to change your diet. Change your diet and find ways to release all the stress in your life. Or at least manage it. Make it manageable. But I encourage you to get up, get moving, and start doing some things that are, going to, that are going to help balance you this year, 2015. It's going to be our best year yet. I hope you have a wonderful weekend.